Good morning, today I'm going to show how to implement authentication in Node.js using Passport Local Strategy. I'm going to create a new Express application using Express Generator. So first I need to install it globally. npm install global express generator. Then I can run Express with view engine pug and we'll call the application Passport Authentication. Now go to this folder, cd passport authentication and we need to install a bunch of dependencies npm i s we need to install passport we will use local strategy to resolve authentication so we install passport local we also need another middleware to store the data in the user session so we install express session and to store the session data locally we'll need to install session file store now let's make sure that all the dependencies are installed and PMI. And now let's open the project in the code editor. Now let's make our application reload automatically when we change the code. To do this, we need to install another module and PMI save dev no daemon. Then go to package.json and change the start script. Instead of node, we will use no daemon. The local passport strategy will store the sessions in the sessions folder and we need to ignore this folder when we launch our app. Otherwise, it will relaunch every time we create a new user session. So we add ignore sessions. Then open app.js. It already has a bunch of things implemented. For example, it has a logger initialized for you so to log all the HTTP requests. And it has a bunch of routers. We don't need the user router, so let's remove it. And remove the corresponding app use. We can also remove the user's route file. And now let's start implementing the authentication. After the logger, require passport, const passport equals require passport, import local strategy, const local strategy, it is a class, so I'm naming it with the capital letters. Equals require passport local. Import session. Const session equals require express session. And import file store. Const file store equals require session file store. Now, after we initialize the app, let's start using the session. App use session. And we need to pass a bunch of options. Store new file store secret for the session. In real app, it should be some complex secret, but I will use just a string secret. Resave false and save uninitialized true. Now let's configure the passport. App use passport initialize and app use passport session. Now we need to define the serialization and deserialization functions for the passport. Let's start with the serialize function. Passport serialize user. This function will prepare the user to store in the session because we don't need to store all the fields. We actually need only the ID. So we define a callback user done and inside of this function we call done now user ID. To retrieve the user from the session, we need to create the deserialize function. Passport deserialize user. It gets ID and also a function done. Inside of this function, we get the user const user equals user ID equals ID. Then we return the user, otherwise false. And then we call done, now, and user. For this tutorial, I'm not going to use any sort of database, so I will just hard code the user. Const user equals an object with ID one email. Example at email.com and password, password. In this realize user function, I will refer to this user that I've just hard coded. In real app, you'll probably need to make requests to the database and actually fetch the users and filter them by IDs. But to explain how authentication works, it's enough to just hardcode the user object, which we will do here. 
Ok, now it's time to make the password use the local strategy. After this realize user function, write password use new local strategy and we pass a bunch of options. Username field is email, then we pass a callback. It will get email, password and done. Here we'll need to check if email equals user email. I'm referring to the hardcoded user again. Remember that in real app I would have to first fetch the user. And password equals user password. Then we return done now user. Otherwise we return done now false. Now let's define the login URL. Go to routes index and define a new route. Router get login. It's a function that receives request, response and next. Inside of this function we call the render method on response. Render login. And now we'll need to create the login view. Create a new file login pack. It should extend layout and now inside of the block content we're under header login and the form method post it should be a string and action login we'll create a post handler for the login a bit later then we render a field set with legend div enter email and password and then a div with a label email input name email type email out of focus and required and then another div for the password label password input type password name password and also required and then the last div and inside of it we render the bottom with text login now go back to routes index.js and let's define a handler for the login post method router post login again we receive request response and next and inside of this function we call passport authenticate local with a callback with error or user inside of this callback we will check if error then we return next with this error otherwise if not user we will return response send wrong email or password and finally we call request login with the user object and then we pass a callback where we call res send you are authenticated and then we call this authenticate function with request response and next function rec res and next still in the routes index file let's create another route that will be available only to authenticated users router get secret request response inside of this callback we check if request is authenticated this method is provided by passport then we send you are authorized to see this private page otherwise we send status 403 unauthorized and we send a message access denied and let's define the logout route router get logout request response and inside of this callback we call request logout and then response redirect root route let's open the page in the browser enter email example email.com password which is password and press login now we are authenticated and we can go to the secret page secret we are authorized to see this private page we can log out now we go to the main page and we are unauthenticated let's try to go to the secret page secret access denied and as you can see everything works thank you for watching let me know in the comments what else would you like to know about node.js and express.js server and also join my discord server to pick the topics for the next videos see you next time